Hi Capricorn, how's it going? Welcome to my channel, Universal Intuition. My name is Jacqueline. Thank you all so much for being here. Today's video is going to be your mid-December general reading, again for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I hope you're all doing super well. Happy early birthday to you, Capricorn. We're so close to being in your season. So not only happy holidays it to you if you celebrate, but of course, happy birthday. Um, let's see, as we always do, Capricorn, we'll be doing your love reading right Right after this it's a part of the extended if you want to join it's the first link in the description box below and what you're and what we do over in the love readings if you've never been here before first of all hello and welcome is I use the crystal vision over in the love readings and what we do is we take an opportunity to look at the other person you're dealing with right now in love and romance and get their perspective on how they really truly feel about you Capricorn right now we also look at what their true intentions are for you we look at y'all's mutual energy therefore what are y'all experiencing experiencing and going through together. And then of course we look at the potential outcome for the situation for your connection um, and see where is that relationship going in the future. Again, if you want to do that one, it's the first link in the description box below. My Instagram is also there if you want to come follow and come say hello. Um, Capricorn, thank you always for your support. Just want to say I really am really truly appreciative of all of your likes, shares, subscribes, donations, all of those things. I am super, super grateful. All right. So for today for your reading, um, this is the general reading. I'm using in the good tarot today um, anything can come up here work stuff personal stuff love stuff could come up family stuff I mean it's just we kind of go with the flow um, that's what we do over here but also what I'm going to add on to this reading um, in particular since we're not only at the end of the year but we're at the end of this decade as I'm going to pull a card after the general reading for um, 2019 what can we release Capricorn and say goodbye to that way we have a nice fresh clean slate for 2020 and we're also going going to pull some energies and messages for what you can re release and let go of. I'm hearing lessons learned from the entire decade. Okay, so what have we learned and what can we move on from? So again, that way we're not only set up for the new year of 2020, but this entire new decade so that you can truly receive all of your beautiful blessings that are coming to you. All right, beautiful. Let's get into it. All right, I'm going to do a couple more shuffles. Spirit, what messages do we have for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Three more shuffles. Thank you. This is for mid-December. What are their messages? Thank you, Spirit. And what can they release from 2019 and from the entire decade? Thank you, Spirit. I just heard one of my favorite songs ever in the world just popped into my head and it's My Own Summer by the Deftones. <laughs> some people call it Shove It. I just think that y'all are just done with someone or done with some stuff. Y'all are super done <laughs> with something. Okay, beautiful. Bottom of the deck, Capricorn. Yep, we got that fire going. We have the King of Fire here at the, yeah, and the Three of Swords under that. For, for some of you, you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, but this is someone who has your heart, absolutely 110%. Um, and you've had some kind of quarrel, misunderstanding, um, possibly a separation from this person or from a situation. Um, but right now, I feel like you are really picking up on this king of fire or king of wands type of energy you're feeling very passionate um earlier in your pre-shuffle i did just kept hearing love 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 over and over that i love you are really working towards your true divine happiness and what it means to truly unconditionally not only love yourself but to love those around you no matter what words were said three of swords um what words were said what you've dealt with in the past you're passionate and confident about holding your ground and moving forward with with that energy beautiful all right let's pick up what's going on for your mid-december reading spirit this is for capricorn spirit what messages do we have for capricorn please <laughs> one of my personal favorites oh yeah we have the four of fire the four of wands this is gorgeous beautiful energy this is about true union this is about home this is about um, your foundation but usually with a partner with somebody else it could be romantic for a lot of you Capricorn it could be a business partner y'all are insanely independent as far as your careers your independence um, in entrepreneurship you're very creative and talented in that realm so there's absolutely 
absolutely does not have to be a romantic connection. This can definitely be a business partner or a friend becoming more, whatever this means to you. But this is beautiful. You're so happy. Some of you are truly in love with the situation or in love with a person. I see you here. Um, it's like a young, a young lady playing the flu. It's effortless. It's careless. It's natural for you to have this home, for you to have this union, for you to have this, I'm hearing, collection of energies. Beautiful. You have arrived. Four of Wands is so powerful. It's again where we, for some of you, it's a twin flame or soulmate union. And I do have to say that because we have the beautiful six of cups behind that, which is soulmate possible past life energy there. So you are either solid in your own home, feeling good. A lot of you have a beautiful um, partner or family life also around you. And I'm hearing count your blessings because it's wonderful. I love kicking it off with a gorgeous energy like this. Yes, Capricorn. All right, Spirit, let's keep going with this message. Ooh. <laughs> okay, we have the page of water, the page of cups coming out. Younger water energy, possible um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. But really what this is about is learning, again, unconditional love. The page of cups loves as if she, he or she has never been hurt before in love. So a lot of you are like, I'm hearing reopening your hearts to either a person, maybe back to yourself. And I'm, I'm hearing for some of you, you could have also been working on some inner child healing. Okay, so that's very good. But the page of cups or the page of water is about an offer of love. Um, it doesn't have to be big. It might not be a proposal, but it could be saying, I love you for the first time or really opening up to someone um, and saying, hey, let's go on that first date. Or for some of you, again, this is about you putting in more love into the home that you already have, into the union that you already have, whatever that means to you. Beautiful energy, gorgeous energy here, Capricorn. Mm, I loves it. I loves it. <laughs> All right, let's see what else is going on for Capricorn. <sighs> Y'all are blowing me away. This is a gorgeous reading. Uh, the Emperor immediately flew out, and look at that bottom of the deck. We've got the King of Pentacles. This is you, male or female. These are both masculine energies. Um, I know I have a lot of females watching, and we each. Every, each person, whether you're male or female, have a masculine and feminine energy, okay? This is just the masculine showing up, your, your strength, the bigger picture type of energy, okay? So what I'm seeing here is the emperor really showing up after this page of cups. Um, this is card of Aries. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries, and I do have to say there is a lot of fire around, so some of you could be dealing with fire signs in general. But overall, you have, again, arrived. You're sitting on your throne. You've been loyal. Look at that lion re representing um, that Leo energy of, is what you're taking on as well. You've been not only loyal to yourself, you've been loyal and I'm hearing standing your ground for what you know you deserve, for what you've earned and worked for this entire year. I'm hearing for the entire year, you've done it. The emperor is um, also the divine masculine. Really, I'm hearing mastering that masculine energy. Um, all of all of the four kings are collected here in this energy, so it's very very powerful. Also, the emperor represents that true warrior energy where we really have been through the battle, we've been through the fire, we've been through the challenge, and you have done it. You have succeeded. You have made it to the top of whatever the situation is about for you. If it's about a relationship, if it's about your personal goals, if it's about your home life, if it's about family. Um, obviously, these are general readings, so they're, your, your individual situations are going to be a little bit different, but man, is this beautiful. And I am noticing we have two fours here, okay? So again, very strong foundation, feeling comfortable in that, I'm feeling in that base, in that root chakra just like knowing where you stand not only with yourself but with your peers with your family with your community and also on a higher level especially with the emperor here this is you knowing where you stand and your true connection with spirit and, and keeping that faith alive very beautiful four is also a number it's an angelic number so i feel like your angels are really just like calling y'all's names and giving you all the love and support that you need gorgeous gorgeous reading let's see if there's anything else that wants to come out for mid-december for capricorn 
I, I knew for some reason I couldn't wait to do y'all's reading and this is why. Now we have the Wheel of Fortune showing up and look at that giant heart at the top. It's like Spirit is saying it's time for you Capricorn. It's time for us together because you have arrived in this powerful position. And the Emperor, by the way, could also be a promotion where maybe you've started your own business, you've maybe gotten a promotion in your job or career, um, or you've promoted your spiritual self if you want to go deep, which is what I really feel here too. But anyways, tr uh, transmuting this energy into the Wheel of Fortune here. Again, there's a completion here. Look at the number 10. The Wheel of Fortune is about spinning that wheel and no matter where it lands, it's going to resonate with your heart. And I've actually never seen this before. There's many other hearts behind this heart. So it's like um, your angels, your guides are, are also very happy for you. They're sending you love. Um, and I also just feel, you know, the Wheel of Fortune is about karma um, that you've put when you've put in that good work that good intention towards yourself towards your peers your family your community your partner your relationships all of the things when you put in the good in, that plant that seed of in, intention in a positive way and you're patient and you let it grow and you have faith that everything will work out for its best and highest good no matter what your situation is boom that's when you get the wheel of fortune that's when that karma that boomerang effect when we send out that energy it's going to come back to you eventually and i feel like it's all rushing in right now for you capricorn so whatever you've been wishing and hoping for um i feel like the the universe is in your favor for you to truly get what you want and i'm being led right back to the first card that we have which is the four of wands marriage union partnerships romantic business or otherwise maybe even with your families maybe all of that together and yes you can have it all and you, i feel like that's been a part of your intention as well capricorn i'm blown away bottom of the deck for this reading um to kind of cap off the mid-month is the six of wands this is about success victory being recognized it's like your peers um your family even your angels your guides myself we're all giving you a round of applause saying good job you have worked your butt off and you are reaping the rewards right now absolutely beautiful all right Woo! that was lovely let's look at 2019 spirit let's look at 2019 for capricorn and what is an energy or a message what can capricorn release from this entire year let's take a look spirit what can capricorn release from 2019 thank you spirit Okay, wow, we have the Page of Fire, again, Younger Fire Energy, and then we have the Transformation card, um, which would be the Death card in the traditional deck, Card of Scorpios, so that could be very specific for some of you. Some of you could be releasing a Scorpio, doesn't have to be, but the, but the Death card or Transformation is really, um, I often say, it's when we really um, shed our skin, and actually the backgrounds of these cards, um, notice how this one's red and orange this one's blue and green this one has like gold and dark colors the light and the dark and this one is just kind of a rainbow of colors if you will but what i'm noticing here immediately is that the backgrounds in these two cards almost look exactly the same they have the same colors there's a darkness but there's also light shining through so i feel like for a lot of you you are coming out of a darkness coming out of a a hurdle coming out of quite a challenging year because we're talking about 2019 and I feel like you really have transformed and shed shed your skin um, and you're releasing some old version an old story okay and with this page of, of wands I do feel a younger energy it's like when you were a child something that maybe you were not even just child just a younger version of you we're all different ages of those of you that are watching this is just a younger uh, version of you somewhat your inner child where um, you were passionate about something there was something you wanted to do and with that passion you were able to transform either a relationship a job a personal goal that you had in yourself and that story is over and done with and you have transformed and I'm seeing that very very it's coming through loud and clear here with all of these beautiful energies for this mid-December reading for you Capricorn so please know that what you can release is you've already done the work you already have transformed and some of you are still wrapping up that transformation and really ready to embody this new version of you I'm getting chills I'm getting chills for y'all this is beautiful
Okay, okay, let's look at the at the bigger picture here and let's let's look at Capricorn what we can release for the entire decade, okay? Spirit, what messages do we have for Capricorn that they can release from the entire decade? Spirit, what messages do we have for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What's a message or what's an energy that we can release for 2019? hearing accomplished accomplished what have you accomplished actually they're wanting to change it oh my god oh my gosh oh my gosh we all have the star card okay card of aquarius for some of you could be dealing with one but this is much bigger than just a, a person okay capricorn what y'all have accomplished and then they want to talk about the release but for y'all specifically they want to talk about an accomplishment and what y'all have accomplished this entire decade is this, the energy of the star card. Okay, this is beautiful. This is true optimism. Okay, um, I'm also looking at the 17, 1 and 7 is 8, and 8 to me is abundance, the infinity sign, the forever and for always, okay, forever and for always, you are going to be optimistic, hopeful, this is reaching for the stars, this is connecting with your your soul family, your ancestors, um, and really coming into alignment with your soul's purpose, a lot of you have really, um, I'm hearing, mastered that and accomplished that, this is one of the most beautiful um, energies okay and look who's right there king of earth this is you this is you you've done it you've remained hopeful and wishes are coming in uh, the nine of cups is a is a make a wish card but on a higher spiritual soul purpose otherworldly dreams that you couldn't even dream for yourself like this is very higher higher energy here um, that y'all are getting wishes and y'all have mastered the energy of how to manifest those wishes again with the infinity sign forever and for always a lot of you have maybe studied or learned law of attraction um, and regardless of that you really know what it what it takes to choose your happiness look at that giant sun it's like you've been illuminated congratulations that's a gorgeous energy all right let's look at what they can release Okay, for this entire decade, the energy that you can release is the Six of Pentacles, and that is such a beautiful energy for you. Six of Pentacles is that Earth energy, again, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. And Capricorn for this entire decade, I feel like... Um, the Six of Pentacles is gorgeous. It's about balance. It's equal work for equal pay. Whatever I put into a situation, a job, a person, a connection, I get it back in return. It's equal, equal. But I feel like the lesson here is where things have been on your shoulders and things are going to start to become more equal for you. I feel like Capricorn, y'all get this energy a lot of because y'all are successful for the most part you there's this like extra responsibility of maybe oh capricorn will pick up the tab or capricorn will manage this situation like y'all have that business like a, a, i'm hearing professional energy to you which is beautiful and gorgeous but because of that i feel like a lot of other people and it could be anybody family friends relationships co-workers whatnot your community some people in your life have in the past in these last 10 years put more weight or responsibility on your shoulders because of how strong you are and yes you're strong and you can get through it all but i feel like the lesson here is you've been you've learned to um, speak up for yourself hey i'm not picking up the tab every single time or i'm just using that as a very simple example i hope that you understand but what's coming in for you is this beautiful balance of energy and it is something that you don't have to worry about anymore because going in the future 2020 and into this entire new decade i do feel like capricorn that you will be i'm hearing received in a better way that people will say hey you know what let's give capricorn a Capricorn a break. Let's um, let me step in and let me do the work. You know, let me let them put their feet up for a, a dang second. You know, because y'all are very into um, doing the work. You're not afraid to get things going, get things started. You're you're very creative. You you initiate a lot of beautiful energies, a lot of beautiful projects, um, whatever that means to you. Uh, and because of that, you're just really good at getting that ball rolling. But therefore, I feel like sometimes you're stuck with, with having to see everything through. So it's almost like um, working with your team, working with your, uh, you know, your partner, your family, your career, whatever that means to you, um, and that they're going to actually start giving back to you more. And what a beautiful gift that is. 
So I hope that y'all liked that. Um, this is such a beautiful reading. Um, thank you again, Capricorn, for always your support, likes, share, subscribes, all of the things. We're gonna do your love reading now, so if you're interested, it's the first link in the description box below. Happy birthday again to y'all, and I will see y'all next year. Bye.